Hi, Sophie here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my 10 top tips for anti-aging naturally. So, anti-aging, the word, and naturally, it's kind of a little bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? Because we tend to think of anti-aging as being all these sort of desperate attempts to reverse the ticking of the clock. Um, and then naturally is associated with, well, we just let it all go and let our hair go gray and, you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, I am of the mind that there's a wonderful middle path, a middle road to take and sort of each to his own in terms of, you know, how important it is uh, for you or to you, uh, you know, to take that sort of outward appearance in terms of anti-aging. But one thing I will say is that I try to frame everything from a uh, nutritionist's point of view. I'm a holistic nutritionist, which means that it's not just food, but it's everything pertaining to your lifestyle. Because I absolutely know, and this is the really exciting news, that what you eat um, is absolutely reflected in your skin. And your skin is also a reflection of um, your, your insides. So if your skin is prematurely aging, then likely so will your internal organs. And the really good news is that you actually can reverse this because our skin it, uh, and hair and nails, it's not static. It completely re uh, changes and regenerates every 28 days. So, you know, have some hope. If you think, oh no, I'm not healthy and my skin is looking absolutely terrible, you can actually change that. And that's really what I'm, I'm about teaching you. I want you to stick around to the end of this video. I'll quickly go through these tips because the last tip is the most important. So let's start with diet. Let's start with number one, if you want anti-aging tip, is to quit sugar. This is so important. You know, from a health perspective, uh, most of us know that you know eating sugar is not a great thing. Added sugar, I should say. So I'm not talking about natural sugars in a piece of whole fruit. A lot of people go, Sophie, what about fruit? And you know, I'm of the opinion that for most people, whole fruits are absolutely fine. They don't sp spike your blood sugar because they are full of fiber and water, which blunts the sugar spike. But keeping our blood sugar levels stable and not having them go up and down is completely correlated with um, anti-aging, with not aging so quickly. So keeping your sugar levels stable, number one tip. And the other thing is that there's something called glycation. Now I wrote about glycation um, a lot in my fourth book, Gorgeous for Good. I'll link to that underneath this video. So I, if you're interested, I go into the science of everything that I'm talking about. I'm a real science nerd. But by glycation is basically where the proteins in your skin literally get sort of brittle and twisted and altered. Um, and give rise to that sort of brittle skin that's not youthful and elastic and has a slightly yellow tinge. And that's why as we get older, our skin often does change its tone. You'll probably change your makeup a shade. I certainly have. It's like my skin is way more yellow than it used to be. And that is because of glycation. Years of not doing or eating the right things. So avoiding sugar and avoiding um, foods that are cooked at very high temperatures. So that will predominantly be deep fried foods. If you avoid those, that is my number one tip. Number two tip is adopt a whole food plant-based diet. Now I am all about a whole food, not a vegan, but a whole food plant-based diet. And I've been working with clients for over five years now, very specifically on helping them adopt this diet. I run multiple challenges, plant power challenges um, throughout the year, you know, on my blog. I'll, I'll also put a link to that underneath this video if you want to sign up for the next one. But my point is that the overriding, I'd say almost the second benefit the participants report after doing this 30 day challenge, the first benefit is weight loss. And the second is, oh my God, my skin is, is just glowing. It looks completely different than it did 30 days ago. And that's because you're removing from your diet those foods, those 
fatty foods, animal foods, saturated fats and whatnot that literally clog up your digestive system. You know, you can't, your body can't work efficiently if you're overloading it with all these fats. And, and removing dairy is almost like the number one thing that I will say to anybody that has problem skin or skin that breaks out, get rid of that dairy and you will see results. So that is my number two tip, adopt a whole food plant-based diet and you will see major, major results. Number three is quit alcohol. Now, our body does not process alcohol as well as it might have done when we are younger, when we are older. And that's why oftentimes when you see people, men and women over the age of 45 drinking, they get that sort of slightly puffy, florid uh, expression, uh, not expression, what am I trying to say, um, uh, tone on their, on their cheeks, um, which obviously isn't the most attractive thing. But here's the thing with alcohol. Aside from the fact that, you know, certainly more than one small glass of wine a day can significantly increase your risk of breast cancer. So that would be the first thing that I always look to is disease prevention over anti-aging anything. Although, oddly enough, the two really go together. Um, but, you know, when you drink alcohol, suddenly your liver has to work really, really hard because basically you're putting a toxin into your system and your liver is like, okay, I've got to start detoxing. Yeah. So while your liver is working so hard, your other uh, organs that are wanting to digest foods, detox, deal with stress, deal with, you know, the assaults of all of the toxins in our environment, they basically can't do their work. So if you're a girl or guy that likes to kick back with a couple of glasses every single night, I highly recommend that you review that and maybe just save it for a special treat every now and again. All right. Tip number four, and now we move into skincare because we've dealt with a sort of inside, if you like, and now let's actually deal with your skin. What can you do immediately? Well, there are very few ingredients that have been proven as in a meta-analysis of all available evidence-based science that have actually been proven to um, reduce or eliminate you know, the visible signs of aging, as in, you know, uh, sunspots, uh, brown spots on your skin, melasma, fine lines, thinning skin, and all of those wonderful things <laughs> that happen to us when we age. So the first ingredient that I really recommend that you introduce into your skincare regime right away is vitamin C, also known as, well not also known because there are lots of different forms of vitamin C, but I really like L-ascorbic acid. It tends to be the most powerful form of vitamin C. And it's a funny thing with vitamin C because you need to get a strong enough concentration that it really is gonna work. Um, so you don't want it too weak, but you don't want it too strong that it's going to um, irritate your skin. So you have to find the right balance for you. Now I'm gonna show you a brand that I have right here, right now, uh, which is the Go Pure Vitamin C Moisturizer. And this um, is a product that I really, really love. It is blended with shea butter, jojoba oil, and green tea. So all of these ingredients are deeply, deeply moisturizing and nourishing for your skin, and you get that vitamin C in there as well. Um, and you're gonna hear me talking quite a lot, or might have heard me talking a lot about Go Pure, because they're a brand that really work for almost everybody's budget. And one of the comments I get, I review so many different green beauty brands and some of them are super, super expensive. And a lot of the time you get what you pay for, but not all the time. And in the case of Go Pure, what they do is that they sell straight to the consumer. So they don't have stores like Sephora where they have to pay all those big overheads um, for the basically you're paying for the for the brick and mortar and the rent and the salespeople and whatnot. So they cut all those costs out. You don't have to pay for those costs. You just pay for the product. So I really like that I can recommend a product to you that has these really clean beauty um, anti-aging beauty ingredients in, 
and it's cruelty free and it sort of basically ticks all my boxes. So anyway, vitamin C in whatever form you use it, use it. I also have some really good vitamin C serum um, DIY videos and we'll link to a couple of those um, underneath this video as well. Because you know, for those of you who follow me, I love my DIYs, but they're not for everybody. And this is a really good point for me to say. Some people go, why do you do DIYs and review products? Well, it's because there's something for everybody. Some people love to do DIY and some people absolutely hate it. And I'm sort of somewhere in the middle. When I have time, I'll DIY. And when I have absolutely no time, there's no way I'm gonna DIY. So you sort of pick what really works for you and always, obviously, what works for your budget. Now, the tip number, I think we're on tip number one, two, three, four, five. I think we are. I'm looking at my little list here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I think this is five, is again skin care and it's retinol so that this is an ingredient retinol that you really need to introduce into your regime um i would say mm, kind of i wish that i'd started using it over the age of when i was 30 and i didn't start using it until i was in my late 40s um, and I really wish that I had, because you see what retinol does is it actually thickens your skin. Our skin gets thinner as we age. And that's why often you'll go, why am I getting dark circles under my eyes? And it's not that you're getting dark circles, it's is that your skin is getting thinner. So you can see the veins and the capillaries underneath your eyes that look like you've got dark circles. Um, and thinner skin obviously is more brittle skin. So retinol does a lot of things. It thickens the skin, it builds elastin and collagen, as does uh, vitamin C. And it's a signaler. It basically, I, I see retinol as a nudge. It's like giving your skin a really big nudge, almost like a message, uh, m message messaging your skin to go, listen, get moving and get that cell turnover moving more quickly. Because as we age, the cell turnover slows down and retinol speeds it up because you want those juicy, young skin cells at the very bottom layer of your skin to get a move on and move quicker up to the top layer of your skin, okay? So hopefully you've got that, vitamin C. Oh, and Go Pure also has, they just sent me these products, so I thought I'd show you these. For you budget-friendly girls and guys, they have um, an active retinal queen intensive formula. I will put the links to these products underneath the video with a few more details such as the concentrations because I know you're going to ask about concentrations. So rather than make this video too long, I'm going to pop those details um, and description in the description to the video. So don't miss that. Now, oh, I know my next tip here is um, rose hip oil or rose hip seed oil. Um, this is a, such a great anti-aging ingredient because it actually has been clinically proven to alter the, the, the appearance of your skin basically, which is why it's so often used for scarring and for deep acne scars and for um, stretch marks. It's brilliant for stretch marks. So all of those imperfections that we don't love on our skin can be really helped by the use of this wonderfully natural ingredient. The one thing that I will say, I'll put a link to this particular one underneath the video, that you wanna make sure is that your rose hip seed oil is organic and cold pressed. Because as with all plant oils, whether it's argan, whether it's sweet almond, whether it's, um, you know, whatever it is, a rosehip seed oil, the nutrients in the oil are as good as they are fresh and active. So always think of a plant oil as you would a food or something like olive oil. You know, you don't want an olive oil that's old and rancid and sitting around because it'll go rancid and it won't have any nutrients in it. Okay, my next tip is detox, continually detox. Now, what I mean by this is you don't run off and do like a crazy, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, I'm such a mess. I've been overdoing it. I've been overindulging. I'm going to do a juice cleanse or a juice detox or something like that. You know, in my uh, opinion, those things don't work. They're, it's just a kind of band-aid, if it, at best, actually. And certainly in terms of a juice cleanse, what uh, the thing that I don't love about a juice cleanse is that if you're doing 
doing it for detoxification, the number one food that you need for detoxing is fiber. And there is no fiber in a juice, but there is plenty of fiber in a smoothie. Um, but what I want you to think about more is continually detoxing. So rather than going on a sort of, I'm gonna suddenly once a year or whatever, and some of those detoxes can be okay, but I would rather that you think about continually supporting your body's organs of detoxification, which is basically your liver, your kidneys, your gut, um, your skin, your lymphatic system. We have these organs of detoxification and all we need to do is to bring them into balance and to help them do their job beautifully. And I have many different tips and ways to do that. Check out um, uh, the link below this video. I'm gonna put my um, detox course. I have a special detox video course and I will put the link to that and actually I have a free overnight detox. It's something you can do every single night. I have a free cheat sheet for you. Maybe that's the first thing you wanna start with. Link underneath the video. Okay, we're almost there. Next tip, and this is a big one. Introduce flaxseed into your diet and eat it every single day. The one food that I take with me, literally when I travel to another country, I take a bag of particularly countries that I know I'm not going to be able to find it, of ground flax seed. Because flax seed contains a lot of omegas, omega-3 fatty acids, which are really great for your skin. So a lot of people say, Sophie, don't I need good fats for my skin? Yes, you do. And good fats are whole foods. So good fats are nuts, seeds, as in flaxseed, avocados, etc. But flaxseed is a especially good for your skin. It also contains something called lignans. And lignans have been proven to be very important, or play a very important role in breast cancer prevention. So again, you know, I always bring anti-aging and disease prevention together. The two go hand in hand, because trust me, if you suddenly get sick and you get a disease and you've got to go through everything, the chemo, the radiation, the intense drugs that you've got to put in your system, then, you know, that obviously is, is not going to do you, you know, it's, it's going to put, put, have its strain. It's going to put a huge burden on your body. So I always, you know, number one is anti-aging, uh, is um, disease prevention. And then we sort of almost as a secondary thought to think about, you know, anti-aging. Um, but flax seed, very important for that. I have a whole video all about flax seed how to buy it, how to store it, how to cook with it, the whole nine yards, how much to take. Link underneath this video because I don't wanna go into that now and make this video too long because we're almost at the final and as I promised, most important tip of the, this video. And that is meditation. So meditation, I believe, is the most anti-aging thing that you can do. And I'm gonna try and explain really quickly why. So the people, the women that I know, men and women actually, that I know that meditate regularly, who I know in my life, are, are the most young looking. There's something about them. I look into their eyes and their eyes are very, very clear and open. And you almost see beyond anything, you kind of don't notice because they're not obviously focusing on their externals, their skin, their hair, their look, their whatever they're wearing. They're very, very centered and very, present. And if you've ever sat with somebody who is extremely present, they're in the moment and thus very often full of joy. To me, that is the most beautiful anti-aging thing. That person has a light about them. And that light to me is the most youthful thing that anybody attribute that anybody can have. And there is nothing new agey about this. This is absolutely, I mean, I could almost go into the science of it, but I won't right here. So if you just think about it for a moment, most of our waking hours, we either live in the past, so we're rehashing past memories, often not very good memories. That person said that to me, I'm mad at that person, what happened yesterday, blah, blah. Or we're living in the future. And we're creating a future with our thoughts based on past events, okay? 
So all of that to say that much of our waking hours, or many of our waking hours, are not obviously spent in the present moment. We are fixated and concerned with things that might happen or things that did happen. And whatever you put your focus on, that's where you create, that's the energy that you create. And so meditation helps me to not only become aware of my thoughts, aware of what I'm putting my energy on, aware of what future that I'm creating, aware of the biology that I'm creating, because my thoughts create my biology. So meditation helps me with all of the above. And more than anything, it helps me, even just for moments every day, to be completely centered in the present moment, in my truth, in my stillness, connecting to the core, to my center. And that is the most important thing. Because not only does it connect you with your the divine and that's your kind of hotline to, to 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 everything beautiful but also by learning to meditate you're obviously learning to manage your stress and i could do about 10 videos on stress management and how important it is in disease prevention but in terms of uh, beauty and anti-aging, a stressful man or woman or a stressed out man or woman is never one that you're going to look at and go, wow, how beautiful, <laughs> right? So learn to meditate, please, my friends. It's really easy. It's really inexpensive. I'll put a link for an Insight Timer app, a free app. And I recommend that you pick up, do some of their little meditation courses. They have mini courses and they're really fun. Just stick in your earbuds and start meditating every single day. It will be the greatest gift that you could ever give to yourself. And seriously, the most anti-aging gift too. So leave me any comments, any thoughts, any insights. And more than anything, you know, if you need help with something, if you're like, ah, Sophie, you know, what about this or what about that? You know, I'm here to be of service to you. I'm here to answer your questions. And more than anything, I'm here to help you to truly create the kind of future that you want to live a life beyond your wildest dreams. And, you know, part of that is obviously feeling really good about yourself. So I hope those these tips today have really helped you. I'll see you next time. Hi, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are hundreds more. And please also visit my blog at sophieuliano.com for detailed reviews, recipes, DIYs, and more.